Welcome back, armchair outdoor enthusiasts. This is my three minute review of Totem Cams. Now bear with me, because this isn't an initial review. I have been climbing on totems for the last five years. And please keep in mind, this video isn't about active versus passive pro. I went and bought a set of black diamond stalkers, and I've led tons of routes with those. I then bought a set of DMM warm-ups that I still carry today. I have black diamond offsets, I've got DMM brassies, I have hexes, I have uh, totem basic cams, I have totem offsets, I have uh, black diamond C4s, black diamond X4s, I've got DMM dragon cams, all this gear. And the one that I reach for first? Totem. 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 Let's cut straight to the taste and <laughs> the taste. Uh, yeah, taste expensive. Uh, straight to the chase and talk about the cost of these cams. They are sitting right now at around $99 per cam through backcountrygear.com. I did check and you can order straight from the manufacturer and with the exchange rate on the Euro, you're probably sitting around $95 per cam, but still very expensive and pretty cost prohibitive. They come in seven different sizes right now, ranging from a black 0.5 to an orange 1.8. The Totem 1.8 is basically the same size as a number two in the DMM Dragon or Black Diamond C4 series. And since these two are almost identical, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the Totem to the Black Diamond C4. As you can see, the Totem unit is a lot longer than the Black Diamond C4, which has its pluses and minuses. The first minus has to do with the fact that the totem racks longer on your sling or harness. The second minus has to do with the fact that the thumbed trigger distance is longer. Therefore, a climber with smaller hands is going to have an easier time manipulating the Black Diamond C4. The last minus is the fact that you can't slot the totem cam like you can at Black Diamond, therefore effectively using it as passive pro. The first positive is the fact that the trigger to head distance is greater. Therefore, it's easier to place and retrieve the totem cam in deep crack placements. And the second positive is because it's longer overall, it tends to walk less in cracks. But the biggest reason why the totem refuses to walk in cracks like all the others is because no other cam on the market today is this flexible. The last major positive is the fact that the head width is significantly smaller, which means that the totem cam can go in so many more placements than the black diamond cam. And because I'm running short on time, I didn't even get to tell you about its aiding capabilities on two and three lobe placements, which no other cam can even compete with. And because of the progressive camming angle, it's nigh unbeatable in pin scars and flaring cracks, and it's perfect for any type of rock from sandstone to granite. I can't possibly tell you every wonderful thing there is about these cams. So there are a few other reviews that have been done that are fantastic as well. And I'll put a link to those in the description below. Hopefully they don't take them down because these cams are fantastic and their reviews were spot on. I know my review went over three minutes, but after five years of climbing on these cams, I can honestly tell you they have been worth every penny I spent. Quality for price, nine out of 10. Durability. 9 out of 10. Would buy again? Absolutely. As always, get out there, enjoy the outdoors, thanks for watching, and happy trails.